music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. <laughs> but then you've been in the industry for 25 years. Sure. I mean, like a child that was born when you started this. You don't marry now. Don't marry, don't born. Don't born, don't get too safe. <laughs> you know. But then what would you say um, has been the biggest lesson that you've learned? You've experienced so many things. You started sure. off from, um, before you even went on a reality show, you moved up. I mean, that reality show transiting to a normal artist, yeah. it, it's actually a journey on yeah, show. Sure, yeah, 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 a yeah, lot, yeah. A lot of people have gone through that and it didn't, it didn't, it, it didn't work. It yeah. didn't work yeah. out. But then yeah, you agree. did that and you moved, I mean, look at, look at where you yeah. are today. But what would you say is the biggest lesson that you have learned that is keeping you going up until now? Until now, and you know, and you know, not just keeping you going, but you know, keeping you at the, you know, very core of, you know, the fire yes, of exactly. the industry yeah. right now. You know, I think, I think the biggest lesson or the biggest thing I've learned is believing in myself. Because the truth is, um, what you have inside and what you, you carry inside, nobody else can feel it or express it better than you. So if you don't believe in it, how would you conv- convince the next person or the other people that you have this? But would you say that you've always been that way? Because right now you sound very self-assured, self-aware, <laughs> like you understand both yeah. the spiritual part of how life goes yeah. and even the physical but would you say that this has always been you even before all of the success came or this was something that you actually had Lent to over time. learn over okay. time um as a little boy i i i don't know how i did it but i was able to believe in anything i believe in mm. i always believe in anything i believe in so it helped me and that was how my journey got to this level believing in what i believe in so i started with football I thought it was going to be football all the way. So I was Aww. doing so well in football. <laughs> I played for Puma. I played for Julius Berger. I, the first time I traveled out of this country to South Africa was to play five-a-side soccer for uh, Puma. Wow. You know, so I did football so well. I thought it was going to be football. Then I was doing music by the side. My father was a DJ. And before I knew it, I was just playing with music. Mm. And I won Star Quest. And when I won Star Quest, I'm like, a bet at hand is better than waiting for manager to take me to Europe. <laughs> to Europe, yeah. I started doing my music. I held on to it. Mm. That's belief. Do you mm. regret it though? Sometimes? Never. Okay. Never ever. Because I would have retired by now if I was playing soccer. Football. True. Mm. I would have retired. I know the people that were my set. They retired since. Mm. You know, but if I was doing soccer, I would have retired. Mm. Well, music, I can do this when I'm 60, when I'm 70, I can still be doing it. King Sonia, they still vibing. Word. Still it dancing with his dancing fact. shoes. So yeah, yes. I can still make so easy. I think God just chose this for me. So the bottom, the, the, the answer to the question is my belief has started from when I was a little boy. Mm. It's belief. And that's what, let me tell you, the challenge most of the young people today, or a lot of people are going through in life, is ability to identify what they have mm. and ability to believe in that thing they have that they have mm. music for lagos 102.3 max fm